Hi, friends. Hope everybody's having a good Monday. I wanted to come on and finish this journal of this kit for Denise, the Martha kit. Hi, that's Sassy. How are you? How's everybody doing? I wanted to come on and finish this journal that we started last week. And as you guys can tell, a huge mess, huge mess. And uh, just trying to get this one finished so I can clean up and get ready for like the next one. Hey, Lucky, how are you? Good to see you, my friend. Your trip looked like you guys had an awesome time. You need to travel up this way and uh, we can do some lunch. But me and my mess here, which when as soon as I get done with this journal, I will clean up some stuff and then I will start on the next one. So I invited Denise if she wants to come on with me, but I know she had a couple things to do to where um, she might just come later. But I do need to bind this. I haven't did the binding on it yet. And I need to do that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And this cover is fabric. Do you remember I printed this fabric? Hey, Chad, how are you? I'm doing well, much better, thank you. But I printed this uh, design from her kit on this material. It's printable material, which I thought was really cool. I'd never used it before. So it was just fun. Let me find the middle. And I wanna go ahead and bind this. Got my little binding tool that the hubby made for me it just holds everything to use my paper clips though just to hold everything so let me uh put a couple of paper clips in this if i can find what it did with it because tammy is not organized at all today it is definitely monday It's like I'm trying to go live more um, and just do some things. I kind of got out of uh, YouTube a little bit because uh, people are just nuts. But I'm here, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and bind this. And I'm not even going to use – I have a measure tool, that uh, a template that I usually use for the middle. But I'm not even going to use it just because I'm just going to eyeball it. Just to the middle and then a little bit to each side. And it looks pretty good to me. If you guys can see, there's my holes. Not too shabby for just eyeballing it. Husband made me this little fade and I love it. And then to bind, I'm going to go straight through the middle. Chad, I want to see you make a journal on your channel. <laughs> that would be hilarious. And then you go through, or I usually always go through the first hole. And I hold my string. And you always want to make sure your string is three lengths of your book. That just gives you plenty. 
back through the same hole in the middle. You guys can kind of see that, I think. And then through your last one. And I usually don't use a book binding needle. I find that they make too big of a hole in my journals. So I just get a regular, like, you know, a really large size sewing needle that I can hold on to. And this, it's, it's big. I mean, it's a good size. But um, I find that I can hold that better. And then to tie it off, you go through the top. And then see you have some of this left, which that's fine because I'd rather have some left and not have enough, you know. And then I'm just going to cut them about the same size. Put my needle up, up here so I don't lose it because that would hurt to step on that. And then these are all pulled taut. And then I'm just going to tie them in a double knot in the middle. Just like that. And then if you want to hang a dangle or something on that, you can. But that's how I bind my books. I wish I would have thought about it sooner. I would have liked to did a hidden binding on this. And that way I wouldn't have anything come out the outside. But it actually blends together really good because it's white. So kind of a happy accident, I guess. Looks like we're having a little bit of buffering on my end. Are you guys buffering? Let me uh, refresh. Maybe that's. I hope that's better. I refresh. And then I want to put all these goodies back in this journal that I made. Hey. Oh, must be all the dirt and dust in my room. <laughs> Kitty cat. Woo. Excuse me. Boy. Okay, here is my cover. I've got lace here. And this, if anybody's wondering, this is the kit from Wonder Bar Crafts. And this kit is called Martha. She is doing a sale right now um, until the 11th, where these kits are like discounted or half price. I mean, it's like a big discount. So you guys can go over and get them if you want. I've got a tuck spot here that I'm going to put some little goodies in. And I made quite a bit of tags and stuff. I do need to put some string on here or some um, yeah, you know, that stuff. <laughs> some string or ribbon. And I think I have a little piece of ribbon over here that I could just use this up just to uh, for that. Or for the tag too. I always loop in, grab it, and pull out like that. And have both the, the ends up. But I like the way it looks here. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna keep the postcard there and I am gonna put this in there so whoever gets this knows that this was her kit. I think I'm actually gonna write the name Martha on here so that way whoever does get it, um, they know that the kit is named Martha. Kit is Martha. That way they know. That way whoever gets it knows that. And then I have this little pocket here that I just put this little card in, put a little lace there. Just some journaling pages. Journaling spot there. There's a tag, that tag. 
She's gonna need some trim. Let's just switch this card, this tag out with this one. Just a little collage I made. Let's go ahead and add that. And then I've got a place here. Let's put this back there. Let's have this little ticket, peek it out. Do another one of her tags. That one needs the hole punched out of it. We'll have to go back or do the string. Let me find a Let's use this uh, trim here. I hope everything's still looking good. Um, I don't see any buffering or anything going on on my end. Please let me know if it goes crazy. This is the fun fur, which in my personal opinion, it is not fun at all. It is messy. So what's everybody up to today? It is Monday. I don't expect too many to be on Monday. Monday is usually a busy day for people um, at my house. My busiest day is Sunday. Uh, Sunday is super, super busy at my house. I am going to be doing a live sale if anybody's interested. Going to do a live sale on the 24th starting at 3 p.m. Central Standard. Um, 40, uh, I'm sorry, 20% of the proceeds is going to a fund for the senior center class that I hold to help buy them some tools because they don't have very much. And I want to get them some watercolors and I want to get them some tools for making jewelry. And um, that will kind of help out there. I'll just take away from my cells um, to help them out. And then plus you guys get to, you know, support a good cause. I think I had a tag that still needed a string. Yeah. So what everybody else got going on. I'm glad you guys stopped in. I know it wasn't scheduled or anything, so I don't expect too many. I'm kind of, that's just how I roll, though. I'm just kind of like spontaneous. Let's go live. <laughs> this is the same page, the same paper, our um, page out of the kit that I printed for the cover, except for this is on material. Here is another little pocket. Let's put some goodies in there. Uh, have lots of cards left. This kit had a lot of stuff in it. Let's do a couple of these. Trying to fill up. This is just a page you can flip out and it just folds out. There, and I'm going to put one of these little paper clips on there. This one just has a little seahorse on it. I think I might actually put some string at the top of that just to match everything. Wendy, how are you, sweetheart? I got a card from you today. I haven't had a chance to open it yet, but thank you so much. It made my heart feel happy that you thought about me.
Brandy eating her lunch. Hey, James, how are you? So let's put that little paper clip there. So glad you guys could stop in and see me. This I'm just going to cut. I'm not going to put anything on those. This is the middle. There's another little pocket here. Let's uh, put some goodies in here. I know I want to use this other little card that I made. Let's maybe put that in there. I want to make sure it has plenty in it. Lots of goodies. Another little pocket. I'm gonna put this in there. Miss Cheryl made that and sent it to me. Sweet, sweet girl. Love my sweet Cheryl. Little postcard. And let's put this uh, vintage seam binding paper in there. And then another one. Let's see. I want to put. I want a piece of this journaling paper. Let's do another postcard. And let me see what else I got over here. And let's put that in there. I think I want to switch that up. I like that look better. Shows more of it. Hey, Christy. Are you busy? You want to come on for a little while? I probably won't be on super long today. I'm taking 30 minutes to an hour left tops. Not going crazy. You put this little heart, little paper clip I made. I think I'm going to put it right here. Maybe. Mm. Not the heart on top, so. Let me go this way with it. Oh, my fingers aren't working today. There we go. Now we got it. There we go. And then there's the little dangle. Little card in here for journaling. And then a postcard, Graphic 45 postcard there. And that's it. That's it. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe. Got her done. <laughs> All right, sweetheart, let me send you a link. Let me get over here. Copy that. Yay, Christy's going to come on and play. Yay. Give me just a minute. That might help to have the keyboard turned on. <laughs> that always helps, Tammy. I tell you, today has been, uh, invite has been sent. Just pop in whenever you're ready, sweetheart. Uh, today has been a crazy day. Um, Sunday's my busiest day of the week. I am super, super busy on Sundays. And I uh been up since probably, oh my gosh, I want to say it was 3.30 or 4 this morning. And so now I'm like, I'm tired, but I got a lot done. So I feel good about getting a lot of stuff done. If that makes any sense, I guess I'm just tired now. But it's A-OK. -okay. So this is Martha in all her glory. I really love her. I think she came out really just 
really pretty. Lots of journaling room, lots of cards, lots of goodies, little tucks and tags, and just everything. If anybody is interested in this one, um, definitely just let me know. But so cute. And it ended up being a little fatty for just a little, little journal. Okay. Now I'll chat with you guys for a minute. Wait for Denise to, or wait for Christy to pop on. And then I can pick up and maybe start on something else. But I kind of got a mess going. I have to pick this up a little bit. I did go to Walmart today, this morning, and let me move this. Um, oh, let me turn off my Rolo printer. There we go. I was having trouble with that, and I wanted to get it fixed before the next live sale. So, okay. so Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. See. You have to your YouTube part. Can you hear me at all? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the computer part. Yeah. It was saying I was muted, and I'm like, no, that's not, there's nothing mute about that. <laughs> It's like that's loud. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Oh, it's Hi. fine. I'm making. You just you just want to make sure we were all awake. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see. What you got going on, girl? Well, I just finished Martha, the journal Martha, which it's kind of got a couple little you know spots that I. You know, like the cover here, it's got like a little cellulite. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It was the first time I'd ever used the fabric, but I'm really in love with this. That is gorgeous. I really, I think it's, I think it come out very, you know, girly, but yet, elegant, I guess is the word I'm looking for, but I really like it. It's feminine, you know, it's, it's not... It's classy feminine. It's not, yeah. you know, there's a word. No, I can't find a word. You see what you did? Oh. You can't go to the corner for having too many words. <laughs> but I'm really happy with it. I hope Denise loves it. This was a kit that she made that her mother inspired her, and her mother has just passed away not very long ago. And so... This kit really meant, I know it means the world to her, but it really meant a lot to me to do a good job on it. So um, I think it came out cute. Hopefully, she, hopefully she'll be proud. I think she will, definitely. You know, I went to Walmart today, and I was just looking through their cheap paints because, you know, they got these for 50 cents. And so I got colors. Those are nice. 50 cents a bottle. Huh. Wally World. What kind are they? They're, uh, oh, Apple Barrel. Apple Barrel. Oh, are those, are they satin or shiny or how do they come out? Um, It says they are, this one's matte, 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 matte. Okay. Uh, these are all matte acrylic paints. But they had, they must have just got a shipment in because they had like lots of colors and it was like, okay, Tammy, let's not just go cray cray. Let's just get a few. <laughs> right. And so I did, I got $3 worth because they were 50 cents a thing. And it's like, I blame this on Dorinda and you. The purple. The purple. The purple. I am so drawn to purple. It seems like you and Dorinda have rubbed off on me for the purple. And then, of course, I, I always have loved pink and green. I have tons of green, but I got these pinks. I got a, oh, this is like an ocean, a Caribbean is the name of this one. Ooh. And I wanted just kind of a rich red 
and this is a uh oh what is this name flamenco red flamenco so i didn't have these colors so i thought i need them <laughs> I can't believe, I'm sitting here like, where's my white paint? Who, who has, I can't find any white paint. <laughs> who wants white? <laughs> use, your, use your gesso. I, the problem is it won't, gesso won't dot right for me. Oh, it doesn't? It's lopsided. Uh-oh. Titanium white, that'll work. Is titanium really white? I thought titanium was silver. I thought titanium was silver too. Well, according to Golden Paints, white. Hmm. Well, I think there are other places that uh, Liquid X has titanium white too. I don't know. I'm I'm learning these fancy words because it makes me sound like I know what I'm doing. Uh. Yeah. So. Yeah. I told you about what my dad said. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what? I just got new goodies in the mail and just got through bundling these up yesterday or Saturday for uh, the sale. These are the library cards. And look at the colors. I'm in love with all these colors. Those are okay. I love those colors. I need to find out. I'm going to start. I'm doing, uh, and you hold me to this, Tammy. I'm doing a live stream tomorrow. Woohoo! Um, for well, for a double home. day. If I'm home, invite me. Oh, I will. I will. Yeah, I'm. I'm doing um, bookmarks, and then I'm doing uh, palettes, the little plastic paint palettes for the kids. But I'm going to put like little dot and decorations on it. Okay, I'm just throwing these paints. Well, not throwing them, but laying these paints over here. Lord, please don't let anything leak. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my new spoon I ordered for my wax seals because I love to use the little spoon. That is this cool. thing. This thing weighs a ton. <laughs> I mean, it is like it is like so heavy. But I love the way it looks. It looks so old fashioned. Is it insulated? Like, it is. Okay. Yeah, it is. That's why I ordered it. My my last one that I had with the was insulated. I it just I just used it too much. It just was done. And then um, I got like a little cheapy that was free or something, and that's like worthless. And so I got this one. Yeah from Allie and it was like, I didn't expect for it to be so heavy duty, but I love it. If it's not insulated, you can, you can hurt yourself. <laughs> and this one that's in the pot right now, it, yeah, it's, it's kind of hot mess, literally. <laughs> I ordered, Denise showed this last time she was live with me, this paper that she ordered from Amazon. And this Mom, is the one that comes in. Is, is that that mulberry paper? Um, it's not. It's all different papers. This is just the envelope. God, that's pretty. I know. I was just like, oh, am I going to use it or am I going to hoard it? <laughs> it's like, uh. <laughs> they come with two little free little gifts that I thought, you know, that's cute. Little punch outs. But it's their, their paper. It's not just regular paper. It's this, you know, nice paper. This fancy paper. And that just shows the different designs, but it's all got either flowers or, you know, some kind of fibers in the paper. And it feels just wonderful. It, it looks like it would be pretty darn amazing. The link, if anybody's interested, is in the last live video, I believe, in the description. But it was like 65 shades of this and all the colors. And first you get these fiber sheets. 
that just have, and I love this, this green right here. Oh, I like that. That looks real. I mean, not like fragile, but it looks nice and delicate. Like it would have a nice crinkle. It is, but it's sturdy because of all the fibers. Okay. So you could easily like fold this and use it as a page in your journal if you wanted. All right. I like that one side's shiny, one side's matte. Okay, I'm going in. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, just the fiber like papers. And then when you get to the back, or let me just flip it. That might be easier, Tammy. This has like the eco stuff in it, all the like leaves and pieces and I love and this. Pretty. This is flower petals. Hey, Sassy. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I do need to post the link. Oh, they can. Can I, can I do a link in your in your stream? You can, but if you just put say hello in the chat, she can click the three dots beside your name and go right to your okay. channel. Okay. This also looks like purple onion skin. I don't know if that comes across on camera or not, but it's like really cool. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Brandy. Oh, that's Etsy. This one's a little blue things and green, but I am like totally in just love with this paper. Look at this, this brown. It looks like hay. How does it feel? It feels like it's hay. Okay. It's not, it feels like hay. It feels, okay. it, it, feels smoother. it feels smoother than that because it's like in between, but you can tell it has texture to it. And there's like a little piece right here where it's like popping out. It's like little hay pods or food pods or something. What did you say? Poop pods? Little, little hay pods or <laughs> wheat pods. <laughs> Is it shedding on you? Oh, no. It, it had seeds. Well, they were poking out, and I just pulled them out. Oh, you have plants on? I probably could have left them, but I pulled them out. See, I'm and not idiot. And then my dog. Look at this. That. Say again? It this one has little confettis in it. Ooh. Ooh, I really like this one. This is the first time I've really taken it all apart and looked at every piece. Ooh, I like this. It has flower petals and uh, the leaves. But very cool. Here's one with string, silver string, or gold string, I mean. More grass. See, we can make this. I have tons of grass at my house. <laughs> <laughs> we just mowed the yard. I could go out. And make. Now, I've tried my hand at making homemade paper. Yeah, that is, no, that, that is definitely a labor of love. And uh, I. There she is, Emma. Hey, Emma, how are you? It is, right, James? I'm like, love this paper. Hey, um, I was I was messaging Emma, Tammy, about the one with the seeds in it. You, do you still have that one? Oh, the hay. Dude, <laughs> she's got she's got paper with seeds in it. It's like hay. This one, and there's another one too. That's like that box of hay. You know, they have pieces of paper. They're like little things that come in envelopes that you plant because Allie would get them from 4-H all the time. Yeah, I do those. Um, I can, we've made those before at, at daycare when my kids were little. And that way if they wanted to plant them, they could plant them and it would plant flowers. Or if the birds ate them, that was fine too. Okay, the triple thing. That would be cool. Mix it in with paper and have it. 
but I love the paper, but I do have to say the envelope, this is, this is like the cool. I love that. I, in love with, I love this envelope. And I want to say it's 65 sheets for like seven bucks. It was oh like not God. that bad for special, you know, special paper. Well, and the envelope itself is. I know. It's like, I just want to order like, can I have like five envelopes, please? And you'll get them, you know, around the new year. <laughs> Well, this, I did it on Amazon and I had it uh, um, two days. There you go. So I did that. And then I had to, uh, I got a mess over here. Huge mess. And I ordered rice paper from them. And, yeah, and I haven't was, even opened this. Is that rice paper? Yeah, Emma was saying the other paper not to get it moist. For a long time. I'm thinking though, if you put some watercolor on that, that would just be, that would be good. On this paper? Yeah. Yeah. I don't see why. I mean, if I would, only way I'd probably get it wet is gluing something on it, like a pocket or something, you know, mm -hmm. for like glue. But um, I don't think I'd get it like wet. I got rice paper, which no, don't put this through the printer. Oh my gosh, this feels so cool. Keep your fingers like, crossed for me. I'm gonna try to have this finished in, in the mail tomorrow. <laughs> oh, the seed paper, it, mar it might start sprouting. That would be like so funny to like, here's your journal, I hope you love it. And then one day you like see this like plant growing out of the top of it cause it got wet. It's like, uh oh my. <laughs> <laughs> it's growing. <laughs> I'm interested. The links to both these, I think, is in the last live video in the description. And I had both these. Be my luck, they're probably trying to, they'd be trying to smuggle aliens if I got it. <laughs> I'd get it wet and slam on pop out. And this, you got 100 sheets, which I can't wait to play with that. One, two. Okay. Um, I still have your phone. So bad. It's like I, the mess I have is just nuts here today. And it's the same mess that I had from the last time I went live because, you know, the husband comes home. I don't like to do much on the, you know, when he's home on the weekends because I like to see his face and, you know, hang out with him. And. So I have just the same old mess from last week. <laughs> just, just more on top of it, I guess. All right. Be good. Yes. It's gonna work. So what do you make? Is that on a canvas? This is um, actually a cover of a little pocket watercolor book. So. Oh. I was on Rosemary Morris's live stream in the chat. Oh God. I don't, I think I would probably have a complete panic attack. <laughs> it's like, Oh my Aww. God. Oh, she's amazing. Um, and, and when she makes a journal, it's like, bam, bam, bam. And all of a sudden here's this beautiful book. And I'm still like trying to find the paper. Um, <laughs> but Patricia Stubbs was in the chat. What's that? Her and I are on the same design team and it's like, I'll post mine. And it seems like every month hers is like right after mine. And it's like, oh man, it's like, I can't, <laughs> it's like, don't do that to me, Rosemary. It's like, gosh, it's like, cause hers is like, bam, you know, just like out there and so beautiful. And I'm just like, here. <laughs> she has just bought a style about her that, that I, I just, I dig it. But, um, yeah. So yeah, but Patricia was on there and she um, is going on a mission trip and into um, Uganda. And so she wanted to bring some journals out there. Well, I'm not really doing junk journals anymore, but I thought, well, I'm doing like covers to books so I could do that. And then they could maybe have something to um, 
yeah. paint with. So I thought, I can do that. So, and these were on a, on a what do they call it, a flash deal on Amazon from Arteza. Oh. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I think that's become your new uh, website, huh? Amazon? Oh, I thought you said Arteza. Oh, it's it was it was the Arteza brand, but the sale was on Amazon. And, oh, okay. Yeah. Last time you were saying you ordered something and it was that brand, and it was like, mm, that's like getting to be your favorite. I'll tell you something. Um, Allie absolutely adores their watercolors. Um, I have not gotten the acrylic yet, and I need to. I need to try them because if they work out. Compared to what I am using now, I could save a lot of money. The watercolors that I have. Are you using Arteza? Um, I actually, the watercolor set I have, it's not marked, and I don't remember what it is. <laughs> so I'm like, no help at all. It's like, because I don't remember. I think I won those in a giveaway. From, uh, I want to say Elizabeth or something. I can't remember. Now. I'm so bad. It's like, don't ever, don't ever get old. My memory's gone to heck. I'm old. You're not old. <laughs> Me thinks I'm old, man. <laughs> Maybe old. It's not here, man. <laughs> Me and my husband always tease, 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 tease each other about being old. And um, I said, well, my gray hair on a woman is just old. I said, it's not fair because on a man, it's distinguished. You know, and I think his gray hair is like sexy. But my gray hair, it's like, oh, no, that's nowhere close to like sexy. That's just like old lady. <laughs> See, I, I think I'm just going to say, this is how I try to empower myself. I'm like, okay, you know what? I look like Bonnie Raitt. <laughs> A really big Bonnie Raitt. <laughs> it, it's getting this, what's really funny, Ken and I have a silver stripe in the same place. Oh, wow. Isn't that weird? That is so weird. Now he is smoking hot. It's like the more silver he gets in his hair, the sexier he is. That's how my husband is. It's like, it's like I just think he's like, you know, we this month is our anniversary. We'll be married twenty two years together for twenty three, and uh, it's like I just I still think he's like so sexy, which I guess is a good thing, you know. But it's like I think he's just so he's sexy. Hey, cat! Thanks for somebody coming in and say something. Get me off of that, my sexy husband. <laughs> Yeah, perspective. Got it right. Hey, Kat, how you doing? It's it's all about how you look at it. I'm kind of like, I'm just going for it. It's like, I don't even care if I dye my hair anymore. It's like, it's just, it's just there. Sorry. You know, don't like it. Don't look at me. Yeah. I didn't like the, I don't know. I think my hair is, is so thin that it, even the least little bit of color fried it and it would, it would smell like peroxide for weeks. I was just like, mm -mm, I can't do that. I can't do that smell. You're off to work. Well, I'm glad you could stop in. Miss Capricorn. Hello. I am a Capricorn. Oh, cat's off work. Oh, off work. I thought you Sorry. said. Off work. Oh, I'm off work. I thought you were saying off to work. I'm sorry. I better read better. I've got to be at work in an hour and a half. Ugh. You do? Yeah. I couldn't remember. I was going to ask you if you wanted to come on, but I couldn't remember what you said your days off were. And it was like, well, I guess if she puts it on, I'll just ask her. I, I sign on between five and six, you know, as far as like getting all the updates and everything. And then I have to be on the phones by 620. So I have requested a schedule change. I knew you told me that. Did you get it approved? I don't know yet. I, I don't think I will. Uh -oh. The last one I put in got denied so fast my head spun. Oh, so it's yeah. like 
I don't know. It, I wasn't even trying to go to appear for a shift, but it just was like, really? Um, but they have a group of new hires now. So they basically said, you know, that if you want to schedule change, go ahead. And they were going to go, you know, through what the current staff wanted before they set up the schedules for the new hires. So I thought, well, this is, this is my chance. So I'm either going to try to go to where I'm on, on the phones like from 3.30 in the morning until noon or doing like a 9.30 to 6. Well, I get it, you, you were really needing this change, right? I, I, I need it for a lot of reasons, um, you know, certainly for health reasons, because it's you'd be surprised when you work from 6 to 2.30 a.m. That sounds like a cushy shift. It's not. No, well, you're too yeah. tired. It messes up your whole day. I mean, yeah, and I not like that, and they are not fun. I don't know what I want to do for the next color. What do I want to do for the next color? Let's try this one. Oh, I love that! Come on. Look how perfect that is. It looks like so perfect. It's well, it's about to get tricky because I'm about to go into the henna pattern. <laughs> A couple more circles. And, and that's something I haven't done before. I have, made, I have decided that my next, I'm going to do my live sale because I have tons of stuff I need to get rid of, but it's just, I'm just so slow at getting stuff ready and done. But I'm going to do for the next probably at least two or three live sales, 20% um, of everything I make, I'm going to give for my senior class. That is awesome. Because I want to buy them some watercolor sets, but of course I want something like, you know, I don't don't want the most expensive, but I don't want just super cheap either. You know, I want something nice. Yeah. And then I want to finish up getting the rest of their jewelry tools. And then if left or get something else, but I thought it would be fun. Hopefully, you know, to just take away from what I would make for them and then um, be able to share what, what I get. And of course I can't show their faces too much because they don't, the only time they ever, like the pictures I send you, that's like for their newsletters and stuff, mm -hmm. but they're pretty private about posting anything like of them. Right. So it's hard for me to like to do a video or, if I show a picture on Facebook, I have to blur out all the faces. Um, let's see, will you leave it plain? Oh, um, I'm going to leave it plain, Emma, so that I'm hoping that I can get just a really small set of like watercolors to go with it so that they can paint whatever they want inside. So, and it's got, um, it's got a lot of pages. I think it said like 80 pages, something like that. So there's lot, lots of room for them to play. I hope that I hope that they'll get in and give it a go. We shall see. Did you put anything on the underneath? Is there like, did you put paint or something on the bottom before you did, you started? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I did. I, um, I did three, <laughs> three coats of triple thick to, um, get it smooth. So yes, yes, I did. Because it's like it's like a bumpy canvas, and I knew if I tried to just do it on the bumpy canvas surface, it, the the dots would be a mess. Yeah. And I, I didn't feel like I had time to order another one. If if you get time, could you send me the link that you have for the set of tools, like you said, Lucky? Sure. It's like I would. He was so tickled to death to get that. He was like, he's so cute. He was in here when I first went live. That, well, and I need to do something that has, um, I think when I do the dot day stuff tomorrow, um, I'm going to do like a tutorial because it's going to just be a basic, you know, mandala in the center of it. Let's see. I wish you could mandala my phone case, my table, my chair. <laughs> just come over. She's going to put you to work. And I'm going to do my car first. It's so pretty. It's like, I love it. When I first started my very first class that I did with my seniors, um, we painted rocks and Christy inspired me. Cause I was like, what am I going to paint? Cause it was just kind of like, 
here we are. Let's kind of just get the feel of the class. Let's get the feel of who's coming, how many's coming. You know, it was just kind of like, let's do something easy. We'll paint rocks. And we could hide them around the building if they wanted and other people could find them or just whatever, you know, take it home for a paperweight <laughs> if they want it. And Christy inspired me because the only thing that I could get to come to mind was to try dots and do Madala. And wasn't it, I mean, that's the thing that surprises me most about this is I can't do a straight line to save my life. I can't either. No, but I finished this and I'm like, okay, that that's not bad, you know, and I did that. I, I like that. That makes me happy. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I thought it was great. But when I did mine, um, I just used the back of a paintbrush. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? It's like, I really like it. And it was really cool. And even if I wanted to do, um, you know, something else different with dots, even if it wasn't a medalla or whatever, it's like, it'd be nice to have the right tool. So it was like, man, I need to get that. <laughs> I was just like, would be amazing with stickers. You know, I had done, um, oh gosh, it was like a uh, label paper, but, um, how did I do it? Like I cut them out in circles. So it would just be like part of the mandalas. Um, but I did get some little um, wood discs that can get um, loops on them so they can be necklaces or charms or whatever you want them to be. But you, Hobby Lobby had them. Christy, do you have a program to do like kits and stuff? Like if you wanted to like scan in copies of your dots that you've made? You know, um, I think that um, I think Ken can scan them in, but as far as like you know, editing it to make sure it prints out properly, I don't have anything like Photoshop. I, I don't. I wouldn't know the first thing about using it. A good friend of mine, he he can do anything with Photoshop. He actually made my um, logo, yeah. and uh, he just I basically sent him a picture of my tattoo, and he ran with it. I was thinking that's an amazing kit. People will probably go wild over having a nice kit. Just like with different just mandala designs in it? Yeah. Huh. Find a way to like make some, you know, tags and some little tabs, you know, just like a regular digi kit, but have it all be your designs of your, you know, scanned in of your stuff. Hmm. It's like because it's so pretty. I would buy that kit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I um. I think yeah. Emma would buy that kit because she'd use it as wallpaper. Who's that? Emma. I think she would buy that kit because uh, she wants to wallpaper it on her chairs and her phone and <laughs> everything. It's like. No, what's going to happen is the next time you go out to see our family, Emma's going to be at the Frankfurt airport. Like, okay, no, you come with me first. <laughs> like and we'll go hang out. That would be so awesome. Yeah, Emma was saying that would be flat. The thing about it is touching it and rubbing it. And yeah. Yeah. That's what I think I like is the texture. I saw somebody today who did one and I'm not I'm not a good drawer at all. I mean, I I you know, a stick figure is about as close as I get to drawing like something usually. <laughs> and they had did it on a um I think it was a rock. And it was all dots, but it was a lady's face that it was painted, her eye, like a side review, and her eye was painted, and her lips in like a little nose, spot for a nose, but her hair, the way it wrapped around her face and the, the rock or the round, I think it was a rock, oh. it was all dots. I've seen those. I love, yeah, she does a lot like that, and they are fantastic. That was the first one I saw, and it was like, oh. I could probably do something like that. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it maybe, you know, might take me a couple of years to get that good, but it's like, I could do that. But I thought it was so pretty to take the dots and like she had it mixed in with reds and browns and some golden like yellows. And it was just like, see, that would be my hard thing is trying to figure out like the highlight thing, but it was so pretty. I, I struggle with that too, even using the stamps for faces and figuring out, okay, how do I shadow it? And I try to even like, okay, the light's hitting from this direction. Where would the shadow be? And I can't still can't get my head around it, which is sad. Yeah. 
It's like I love my watercolors, and I actually I want to get them out. I think for the the fall journal, um, I was going to work on it next, but um, Denise hasn't did her video yet, so I'm waiting for her to do her video because I don't want to pre, you know, I don't want to pre-show anything that, you know, let her show it first. And, um, but I think I want to bring out my orange and yellow and brown and use some watercolors in that kit. She going to be painting the pumpkin spice, baby. I think so. It's like I had so much fun in the live um, that we did and playing with the watercolors. And the potpourri. No. And the potpourri. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I had so much fun and I haven't played with it since. And so it's like, hmm, need to do that. Yeah, and you you were tossing that paint around like a champ. I mean, that's And you know, that's probably about the maybe the second or third time I've ever watercolor painted in my life. Oh gosh. So thank you. That makes me feel cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye cat. Um may the odds be ever in your favor. I, oh, off to Walmart. I had to go to Walmart this morning when it was early. I don't like to go when it's late because uh, my husband called on his lunch and he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm at Hell Mart. Uh-huh. We, yeah, we call it Wall Hill. Uh, he's like, ugh. Now I am cutting this paper because the next class we do, we're going to make paper beads. Fun. And oh, so I love uh, making paper beads. I don't want to take a chance anybody cutting themselves, so I thought I would just cut up a ton of paper and they can just pick from that that way. Why do I pick these designs? Because they're beautiful. The beautiful. 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 I may have to jump up from my desk in a second. I just got a message that we've got a delivery coming and it says it is almost here. Ooh. What that means, I don't know. Amazon? Instacart. Oh. So we got a um, trial for it, and um, I, I've I've been extremely impressed with it. I mean, it's it's nice to have time to do stuff here at the house because I mean, when I'm working nights and you know having getting stuff ready for Ken and everything, if I have to go out, you don't have time for anything else. And I had to actually go to downtown Charlotte this morning to get my dad's insure. So it was just a crazy morning. And I saw you were getting insure. Yeah. So I, I, I want to work with them so bad. Isn't that awful? I was just like, I want to work with you people because you're nice and you're doing nice things for people and, and people don't yell at you. <laughs> or they better not. I think right now, as far as everything that's going on in my life, my favorite, favorite time of the week is when I go and see my seniors. I love to go hang out with my seniors. It's like, they're just, they're awesome. It's like when they're all nice and they all want to be there. And it's just like, they're, you know, and they're all talkative because they're lonely, you know, and it's like, my husband's gone all week, so I'm lonely, you know? So it's just like, you know, talk to them and you know i just have fun with them i have i have a uh, one of the ladies up there um she's really befriended me she's super sweet well i'm not a vegan but she is and she just had her birthday and tomorrow when i go up there i'm gonna try tonight my very best for the first time ever to make vegan cupcakes just bring her carrot cake that's vegan isn't it well, the oil and everything has to, I was researching it over the weekend and like you have to have like special oil and everything for it to truly be vegan. Oh. And so I got all the stuff today to to make her cupcakes to take to her tomorrow. So um, hopefully they taste. <laughs> I, I couldn't be vegan. I'd be so hungry all the time. I'd be hungry. You broke up. Just, okay. It broke up. Oh, I'm here. Can you see me? I can now. Okay. But yeah, I think I'd be very hungry, a very hungry vegan, like a very hungry caterpillar. She's very thin, and I want to feed her a cheeseburger so bad. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> right? But she hasn't always been vegan. She's, only, I mean, she's, 
she's older. And I don't know how old she really is, but um, she's been vegan since she was like about 20, like two or three or something like that. So she's been vegan for quite some time. Um, but it was just her birthday and she was kind of sad and she come in teary eyed that, you know, she just didn't have anybody like to really like celebrate her birthday. And it broke my heart. I mean, I was like, had tears in my eyes talking with her because it was like, oh my gosh, that's just so sad. You know, you don't have anybody to even like, you know, besides up at the center, you know, they all knew for her birthday, but I was just like, works at the center. Huh? She works at the center. No, she comes, she's a senior up there. Oh gosh. And it was just kind of sad. And you could tell she was just kind of like, you know, a little lonely and everything. And I was like, well, maybe I could take her to lunch. And then it was like, well, I don't know where to take her because, you know, she don't eat meat and everywhere around here. You know, I don't know. I think we have one specialty restaurant that's called the Loaded Bowl. Mm -hmm. um, so. We'll see how that goes. If you guys hear on the news, you know, Tammy poisons lady. <laughs> we'll bail you out, mama. She didn't mean to. Come bail me out. I didn't mean to. I had all good intentions. I promise. There's that weird dot lady told her to put bacon in it. <laughs> she used bacon grease. <laughs> <laughs> I was vegetarian until I got pregnant with Allie. Yeah. And um, I had the worst nausea and vomiting. And there was just one night where somebody, as a joke, got me a chocolate bar that had bacon in it. Which I thought, that's kind of cruel. But anyways, it was just sitting on my dresser. I was basically going to throw it away. But I had a towel around my head to hold it still. I was on call for the hospice I worked for. And I couldn't keep water down. You needed that. Well, I looked over at that candy bar and I'm like, that looks delicious. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I inhaled that thing and I felt so much better. And from that point forward, I mean, I, I was having bacon three times a day, bacon and, um, and kind of like Southwest or Cobb salad. That, that was what Alley Cat wanted. See, I think it's good. Like I'm not a vegetarian or, Vegan or anything like that, um, uh, but it's like I think if people know how, like for sure, like what they're you know how to get make sure they're getting their protein and getting all the nutrients they have is one thing. But I think a lot of people are, you know, especially nowadays, are just like they wake up and they're like, "I'm a vegetarian today," and it's like, but they don't know how to make sure they get their vitamins, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. so it makes it hard because. It's like, I definitely, you know, I think my hardest thing, I think I, I don't eat a ton of meat, but I think my biggest thing that I would miss is a good homemade cheeseburger. You know, of course with bacon. <laughs> but I think that would be like the biggest thing I would miss. I don't really care for steak too much, any, you know, or pork chops or anything like that. Um, I mean, I could totally do like, you know, a burger every so often and be okay. <laughs> I, I would miss milkshakes. Oh, see, that's, yeah. It's like, and cheese. I love cheese. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I know they, you know, they say there's a lot of that substitute stuff out there, but I don't know. When you've had the real thing, it's hard to go for like the not real thing because it don't taste the same. It's like having a, like having a soda and then go and diet it's like it does not taste the same i don't know <laughs> i think oh i'll be right back my dear i got quick company she got a package a oh, package my homeboy's here Ooh. i love it when the doorbell rings and it's like I'm sorry. yes i know you have to put a lot of special stuff for him He has lots of allergies. He can't have milk products, right? So it probably makes it hard for the cheese and stuff. Is that?
Well, do you think all my seniors will make this up in beads? I have some more too that I've already cut up. Um, if I need to, I think we can uh, cut some more. It's got these cute little Christmassy cards. Oh, I missed a page. How did I miss a page? Really? One page. So what's on the menu tonight, James? We need to do a cooking collab. I've got some stuff to send you guys, especially I got quite a bit of stuff to send to the boys. Um, I just got to get myself in gear. Slow as molasses. I know this has to be probably boring just watching me cut paper. Christy's got some good stuff going on there with her medallas, though. That's fun to watch. It's just like I could just watch it forever. It's just like relaxing. Hi, baby. My little cane just come in here. He's probably wanting to go out. But now I don't figure we'll stay on too much longer because I know Christy has to work and I'm supposed to go mod for Linda her live for a little while if she don't have anybody over there. She usually gets plenty of people, so I don't even usually end up staying. But um, I like to at least pop in and say hi and be supportive, you know. But you guys don't forget, I'm doing a live sale on the 24th. I'm going to start at 3 o'clock Central. Um, anything that's made or donate, or if you donate, 100% of that. But if you uh, buy something, 20% of everything is going to my seniors. So hopefully that will work out good. So you can get them some watercolors and some, you know, cute little goodies. I am hoping. But we will wait for Christy to come back and see where she's at. Because I don't want to keep her too long because I know she has to work. We got the goods. I didn't get a chance to show you. I have a new addition to my wall of powerful women. Oh. Oh boy. Leia. All I can think of is pew 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 pew. <laughs> pew, pew. Who's scruffy looking? <laughs> like, oh. This this is the part that is so challenging for me is trying to this fancy stuff. She makes a lot of vegan type food for Chuck because of his allergies. What what kind of vegan type food do you, do you make? That's because my daughter is wanting to try. Like she comes home with all these ideas of foods that I've never heard of. And I'm just like, oh my god, you know. So um, like yeah. chicken nuggets. So. Well, and that's you know she'll she'll eat a chicken nugget with the with the best of them, but she cannot understand like mommy why don't you like sushi i don't i don't know why i don't like sushi i just i just don't like sushi hon it's like that took too many microbiology classes i don't know i used to love sushi and i've got now where i cannot stand it i haven't eaten sushi in like probably 10 years and i used to love all of it but i got really sick one time we went i guess it just wasn't that fresh and ever um, since, I've just really been turned off from it. It's like, uh -uh, I can't, can't do that. You know, and then, of course, you see the videos of people with their horror stories. And it's like, ah! Yeah. Like, uh, extra cook it, please. Extra cook it. Extra cook it. Burn, burn that sucker. Yep. 
You know, it's like I don't eat much. You know, I don't hardly ever eat a steak. But if I have a steak or even a hamburger or anything like that, it's like I want it squished as thin as possible, and I want it done. Yeah. I want it pink. I want you to run it. Please run it and cook it to death. It's like yes, like, yes. I guess we can go off. I guess I'm going to go try to make some cupcakes. And I know you work. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. I, need to, I just saw the clock and I'm like, God, I got to get in the shower. That's. I'm glad I got, you're, you're reminding me because I'd have been late for work doing this. Oh, I don't want you to do that. You'd be like, that darn Tammy can't hang out with her no more. <laughs> She's not very good. Tammy, do you, want, do you want to hang out tomorrow? Um, holler at me and let me, I know I have a couple of things I have to do. Mm -hmm. Depending on what time, just holler at me. And okay. if nothing else, you can always send me a link. And as soon as I get here, I can hop on. Rock and roll. So, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. I know it was kind of spur of the moment, trying to get back in the hang of it. But I kind of like coming on and being like, surprise. <laughs> because then you don't get just everybody. You know, it's a little more personal with people. So I like that. But don't forget, live sale on the 24th. If anybody's interested. And I appreciate you, Christy, for coming on. And sorry, Denise is over. She was going to come on if she got home in time, but she didn't get home in time. Thank okay. you, Emma. You have a good day, too, sweetheart. That'll be good. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Miss Emma. We bring in Emma next. That's it? <laughs> yeah. You too. Emma, message me, and I'll have your email, and you can come play with this. All right. Bye, friends.